wake up, that's my best part of the day. It's been described as a slice of heaven on earth. You got land with woods, you got land with creeks, you got fields, you got ponds. Oakdale Equestrian Center in Powhatan. Nothing any better than Oakdale. Terry Adcock calls her 130 acre farm, which is home to 34 horses, pure bliss. They're my best friends. No day is the same, it's just pure enjoyment. A rural treasure she has owned for 25 years. From the pastures to the paddocks, Terry wouldn't want to be anywhere else. There's no nothing better. I don't need to go anywhere for a vacation. I got a permanent vacation here. This farm's roots run deep. Terry's historic home was built in 1835. But beyond the bucolic setting, Terry sees a threat over the horizon. You would have house, 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 and you know, instead of all, it would all be gone. Terry is concerned about encroaching development in Powhatan. And if we don't keep that part of the country, we'll never have it again. Sadly, once you convert a property, it's very hard to get it back to a natural state. Parker Agile Lasto says the rural character and open spaces across the county and central Virginia as a whole are disappearing. The executive director of the Capital Region Land Conservancy says the Richmond region is failing to save our natural resources. And in our region, only 6% of our land is considered permanently protected. 6%, not very much. Without action, Parker laments the loss of landmarks that make Virginia unique, like Oakdale. When you come out to a place like this and you see the structures that date to the 1830s, and when you see it being cared for, for hundreds of years, you do get that sense of place. You get that sense of history. Terry Adcock, who advocates for land preservation, Come here. is leading by example. Every animal has somewhere to be safe, and all my animals are happy. That's all I want. Through a partnership with the nonprofit CRLC and the Monacan Soil and Water Conservation District, Terry is placing her farm under a conservation easement meaning it will remain a farm forever. You go home at night and you feel good, that's what's important. Through the easement, Terry will receive tax credits, but the 67-year-old could have cashed in and sold for maximum profit. Instead, she is choosing preservation. Keeping equestrian centers operational when there's so much threat of development around here, it's a very important aspect of Powhatan County. Miss Adcock has been mulling the idea to protect her farm for a decade. Some nearby farmers are finding inspiration in her decision. I know 100% I've already because one of my neighbors is in the process of putting his land in. I would hope that 20 of my neighbors do it. It's probably the most selfless act anybody can do. When you donate a conservation easement, you're now making it permanent and perpetual. Terry Adcock, the owner of Oakdale, says she is richer, knowing the horse farm, her heart and soul, will live on long after she rides off into the sunset. That's why I put it in the conservation easement, so that when I'm gone, that it will still be here. For I have a story. It's definitely my legacy. You know, the farm is more important to me than anything. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.